New tonight, the FCC has launched a new program that takes 50 bucks off your monthly internet bill. This is for low income Americans. It went into effect on Wednesday. Right now, only Cox and Windstream are participating. But how much personal information will you have to share to be able to get this? Jay Wallace answers some of the lingering questions that you probably have. People can now sign up to see if they qualify for $50 off their monthly internet through an FCC program. This has raised a lot of questions from viewers wondering how this process works. So we want to verify, does the FCC ask for personal information for its $50 broadband internet credit? With Verify, we show you who our sources are first. We spoke with Patrick Weber. He is the chief of the Consumer and Governmental Affairs Bureau at the Federal Communications Commission. The main question we've received, do I need to provide my social security number? No, you don't need to, but it is an option. You can either provide your social security number, tribal ID number, or one of these forms of identification. The things that, that would verify you um, as you know the person that you're saying you are, um, those are things that are required for the program. Next, do I have to show my tax form? This is true. The FCC needs this for proof of how much income your household makes. You would have to have an income uh, below $99,000 for a single filer and below or below $198,000 for joint filers. Is my credit card number or bank account number required? No, it is not. As long as you provide your tax form, the FCC will not ask for any more financial information. They'll be able to get all the information they need from you and get you enrolled from their own website. So we can verify. Yes, the FCC will ask for some personal information, but you will have options in what you provide. To apply, you can visit getemergencybroadband.org. And if there's anything you'd like us to verify, send a message to our email, verify at 12newsnow.com, or message us on one of our social media accounts.